dad rang earlier. Oh, yeah. Off for his condolences. It sounded as though he really meant it. Well, maybe he's trying to tell you something. That'd be a first. I keep expecting to see him come running out of the water with his surfboard. Telling me to a horrible dream. Oh, I'm going. Fine. Made yourself some sandwiches. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, I must admit, after what Frank said, I assumed it was all off. Well, I have a mind of my own. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I see. Um, I do have one minor problem, though. Look, if you're worried about getting caught in a domestic, I wouldn't. No, 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 it's, it's nothing like that. It's just that I was going to buy the food on the way home, but, uh, well, after Frank declined the invitation, I decided to settle for whatever was in the freezer. Oh, so what do I get? Well, um, there's lasagna, or there's, um, lasagna. Um, I might have the lasagna. Oh. Thanks. I'm sorry, but uh, when you're a bachelor, you become somewhat of an expert in no-hassle meals. You used to have a go at us for saying that. What? Saying what? Hassle. American slang, polluting the English language. Well, what is it they say? If you can't beat them, join them? It's pretty quiet around here. Yes. Yes, it can get a bit quiet at times. Well, if you keep dishing up meals like this, I might invite myself over again. I wonder who that could be. I'll get it. <laughs> Guess who's here? Frank, you're just in time for dinner. Uh... Pip, you don't know anyone looking for part-time work at all, do you? You know, with Hales leaving the diner and that. Since when has Hales been leaving the diner and that? Well, you know what the obstetrician said. Nothing strenuous. Oh, setting tables and pouring the odd cup of coffee hardly constitutes strenuous. Not to mention being able to get away from the nag here for five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, Hales, but this is one time I'm putting my foot down. One time. The quality of the sex is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I just want everything to go smoothly. And your time's getting closer and closer, love. And let's face it, you know, spring chook. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got to have lots of rest and no exertion. Alf, having a baby is not an illness, you know. I might be a bit tired, but I'm perfectly fit and healthy, despite my advanced age. Good, you're a stubborn woman, Alf. The doctor said you've got to rest, and that's the end of the story. Oh, can I interrupt? If you don't mind, Al, sir, I'd like to help you out. Well, that'd be beaut, Pip, but what about young Christopher? Well, I'll take him with me. He's past the crying stage, almost. You're on. Who am I to argue? Well, that's settled then. Which brings us back to the living room. So what do you reckon? It's OK. OK? Come on. It makes our place look like a kennel. There's nothing wrong with our place. Oh, that a bomb couldn't fix. I'm not trying to sway you, Frank. It was Bobby's idea to have a look around. Yeah, well, thanks for the dinner, but we'd better get going. Well, can't I offer you coffee? Sorry, we've got to get back. Why? We just do. Yeah, it's so cosy in our old caravan, we can't stand being away from it. Good night. Well, is that it? Don't I get a good night kiss or anything? You must have added the lemon too quickly. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? We can't eat this. I say, 
say you throw it out and start again. Oh, Grace, here I am trying to... Tom and I have been talking about taking on another child. Well, we decided against it, but now she's come up with someone. Well, who is it? Well, we don't know much about him. He's a 16-year-old. Well, Miss Malloy says we're pretty much his last chance. If we don't take him, he could end up in a remand centre. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's up to you, but it sounds like a bit of a tough case. Certainly don't make things easy for yourselves, do you? 